Welcome to this video on adding floors, doors, and auxiliary inputs and outputs. Once you have added a client to the server, navigate to the sitemap and select Door to confirm there are eight doors. Navigate back to the sitemap and select Floor Setting. Select the default floor, click Edit, browse and select the floor plan you wish to import, making sure it is no bigger than 150 kilobytes and click Save. The floor plan will now appear on the dashboard. To view additional doors, you must add a new floor. Remember, a new floor does not necessarily equal a new level. To add an additional floor, select New. Add a floor name and an optional image and select Add. Once the second floor has been added, select Door on the sitemap. Click Door 5 and Edit. Change the floor to second floor and save. Repeat these steps to move doors 6 through 8 to the second floor. Navigate back to the sitemap to select Auxiliary Input. Select the Auxiliary Input for door 5 and click Edit. Move to the second floor and save your changes. Repeat these steps for doors 6 through 8. Once you have finished, go back to the sitemap and select Auxiliary Output. Change to the second floor for doors 5 through 8 and click Save. To place the doors and auxiliary inputs and outputs, select Dashboard Setting, click and drag the doors, inputs, and outputs as desired, and select Save, making sure to repeat this step for the second floor. Navigate to the dashboard by hovering over the icon and selecting Dashboard. All doors, inputs, and outputs are now placed for each floor. Thank you for watching. You may now exit the course.